Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you some affirmations from my handy dandy notebook to attract that soulmate type of love. Okay, so if this is of interest to you, then please keep watching. Okay, so this video is going to be for those of you that want to attract a good, healthy partner with whom you can have a happy, healthy relationship with, okay? Um, this is just going to be like, I'm going to be giving you blanket affirmation. So you can use this to attract someone completely new or you can say these affirmations while thinking of the person that you want to attract, okay? So... In my experience, you know, I'll just say it when I've kept my affirmations a little bit more vague as and I didn't really use someone's name specifically, I was able to manifest, first of all, that person to show up as a better version of themselves and a more fulfilling love life in general. So when I did start off with my SP manifesting journey, SP stands for specific person, um, with the very first SP that I started off with, I... I actually found someone like way, 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 way better after that. And it's like the quality of men that I started attracting were just like, was so much better, okay? Better than I even imagined, okay? So, um, you know, these affirmations really worked for me. They've worked for my clients. Um, I've seen a lot of success stories posted with these affirmations. So I am sure it will help you attract the best kind of love, attract the best kind of relationship, you know, the relationship that you so rightfully deserve. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and read off these affirmations. So the very first one is the partner that I am married to or in a relationship with reflects the good qualities that I have within myself. Okay, let me repeat that. The partner that I am married to or the partner that I am dating or in a committed, happy, healthy relationship with reflects the good qualities I have within myself. So uh, this is honestly, I should have started the video off with this, but these are just um, qualities and traits that I look for someone that you know I would want to date or get into a happy, healthy, committed relationship with. I personally want to be with someone who makes me see the good qualities in myself because I don't know about you, I do feel like most people have been here, but in the past I have been with people who maybe reflected the shadow side of myself or reflected like you know the worst in me like sometimes like I, I would date people and like you know my frustration and anger would just come out because they weren't treating me well and I realized you know what that's not the type of relationship I ever want to experience I don't want to be with anyone who brings that side out of me or I bring that side out of them or it's just all negative and toxic I, I don't want that anymore so this is a really really good affirmation to make sure that the partner that you're attracting is actually healthy the relationship that you're attracting is healthy and um you know that you'll never experience anything toxic again because we we should not be experiencing that at all. I don't know why sometimes toxicity has been normalized and we don't even realize that until after we, we leave the relationship or when we talk to someone about it. But, um, you know, this affirmation will just guarantee that you never have to deal with anyone less than ideal or um, be in a relationship where, like, you're you're tested. You're just like, oh my gosh, like this person is really testing my limits or um, it's just, you know, they're not treating you well or they're you know, your shadow side is coming out too much because from what I've noticed is that every single person we meet does help us grow. It's just that um, we should ideally be meeting people that help us grow in a good way, not necessarily grow through pain, okay? So this will make sure that you only encounter positive experiences. You only um, encounter people and partners that help you grow in a constructive way, in a way that is healthy, in a way where, you know, you don't have to like tear down your entire self-esteem or your entire self-esteem um you know isn't torn down i don't know i said the same thing twice but my point is that when it comes to growth be really careful how you use that word because sometimes people will be put into your life for you to grow through like pain and it's like you know grow through negativity whereas you want to grow through um you know constructive i don't even want to say criticism but like 
like just you should be experiencing constructive growth your partner should help you grow as a person in like the healthiest manner i probably said a bunch of these affirmations as i was talking so feel free to use them and you know say the affirmations that feel the most natural to your subconscious this is just what personally works for me okay the next affirmation that i have here is my partner matches my energy and hypes me up when i'm down so i really really like this affirmation because I know that a lot of us in the past, we are used to giving, 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 and it's like the other person was always receiving. So this will make sure that you're in your receptive energy and, um, you know, giving energy at the same time, that both of those energies are balanced. Or if you don't believe in like energies, which honestly, like I, I do believe in energy, I do believe it's a real thing, but um, this will basically just make sure that it's 50-50, like, I'm not saying, I, I don't think that, like, you know, you should always, always be the one receiving and it's your partner doing all the work, nor should you be the one that's always giving all the time. I know most of you watching this, you probably are used to, you know, giving a lot. A lot of you probably are empaths. You probably are, you know, just very sensitive souls that, like, love helping other people and doing the most for other people. And it does make you feel good from within. But at some point down the line, you realize that, like, hey, this person is not respecting my boundaries or I'm not respecting my own boundaries by being too much of the giver, by being a little bit too nurturing. So this affirmation will make sure that your person is matching your energy. They're giving back just as much as you are, okay? The both of you are, um, you know, giving and receiving equally. So yeah, and the second half of this was hypes me up when I'm down, okay? So I really, really like this because um, I... I believe that the person that you're with should be there for you on your worst days, okay? It can't all just be, you know, happy-go-lucky, flowers and daisies. Uh, I see a lot of videos about how you need to be high vibrational to attract a partner, and I don't really believe in that. I don't think everyone's, like, high vibrational all the time. I mean, would it be nice to be that way? Sure, but I... You know, I think like a good goal is to be high vibration like most of the time or, you know, just feel good within yourself most of the time. But uh, I do think that some of the best relationships, some of the deepest connections, at least the ones that I've had, were with people that I could be vulnerable around, were with people that I could be myself around, were with the people that did accept my shadow self, my shadow side and still stayed. OK, and not only did they still stay like they. Um, hyped me up they made me see the good qualities in myself okay but uh, with that being said I'm not saying you know any anyone should be codependent you know you can still um, be a real person be vulnerable want your partner to be there for you without being codependent so again it's all about that healthy balance okay which brings me to my next affirmation I always have healthy balanced relationships okay or I've always experienced healthy, balanced, romantic relationships. That also works really well. Um, the next affirmation is, I always feel safe and secure in my relationships. So this will guarantee that your partner is always texting you, calling you, um, video chatting you, sending you memes, always constantly in contact with you. And you never have to worry about whether or not they're going to text you. You never have to be on your toes on whether, um, and like, you know, just like, feel sad feel anxious feel down when they don't text you it's like even they could maybe like go a day without texting you and you'll still feel secure in your relationship or better yet you know they'll text you every single day and it will like it will feel good it will feel um like like i said that energy is mutual it's not like they're going to be overly texting you not be like overly clingy unless you like that unless you want to be with someone that's clingy i do know there are some people that like that but um just I feel safe and secure in my relationships, you know, that's specific to you. So I would even recommend getting another piece of paper, writing down what safety feels like to you, how being safe in a relationship feels like to you, how often your person contacts you, like how frequent the communication is, what kind of communication there is. Okay, I feel like at the end of the day, your subconscious mind knows what it is that you want. But if you want, you know, feel free to write down on a piece of paper exactly what it is that you want. Of course, you can also affirm my, par my partner is constantly texting me, calling me, contacting me always spoiling me with love attention effort but i feel like this is a good blanket affirmation that will just make sure that you always feel that way okay um and then we also got my partner always sees the best in me and loves everything about me okay so this is also a really important one your partner should be your biggest supporter they should be your best friend they should be your biggest fan okay or one of them and they should always see the best in you while at the same time wanting the best for you as well okay so it's like 
at least for me i would want to be with someone who you know they do hype me up they do you know see the best in me but it's like when you know they feel like i could be doing something better they uh talk to me in a constructive manner okay while all like while still respecting me i do want to be around people who want the best for me so you know say that as well i'm always around people that want the best for me i I always attract partners that wish the absolute best for me okay um and then i really like the whole thing about loves everything about me again your partner should accept you entirely they should accept you completely okay not just during your glam moments not just during your beyonce moments but during your I don't want to insult any sort of celebrity here, but during your shadow self, shadow side moments as well, okay? So yeah, Um, yeah, that brings me to my next affirmation. My partner is my biggest supporter. So like I said, they should be your best friend, biggest supporter, a biggest fan. Um, And the other one that I have is I always attract the best versions of people. So I talk about this in my videos a lot. I always attract the best version of my partner. Again, maybe take a piece of paper and write down what that looks like to you what is the best version of them how is that version treating you how is that version making you feel what's going on in the relationship how are they communicating with you um how often do you go out how often are they taking you out do they spoil you with gifts because again that looks different to different people some people's love language is like gift giving some people's love language is quality time so i would even say write down what your love language is and write down what love language you want your partner to exhibit or you know sometimes uh people like that other people have different love languages so that they can kind of you know adapt to that as well or some people just want to be with someone who has the same love language as them okay it really depends on you okay this is going to be um specific to you this is a very like subjective topic in general okay so yeah that i believe was my last affirmation okay so i really hope this video helped drop down some affirmations that uh, you think would be helpful to others drop down some affirmations that you use that help you manifest your ideal love life your ideal um, partner okay i know a lot of you have amazing affirmations up your sleeve that could really help others so um, don't be afraid to share them these are just some affirmations that have worked really well for me for my clients for a bunch of other people and again say these affirmations in a way that feel the most natural to you okay at the end of the day it's all about what feels most natural to your subconscious so you can take bits and pieces of my affirmation and make them work for you okay so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here i do want to let you know that i offer manifestation coaching and i also make custom made subliminals and i also do tarot reading so if you are interested in those services check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and i will see you all next time